Hey guys, this is Dylan at AM Solar, and today I'm going to talk about disconnecting your factory converter. So, a lot of our customers have rigs that have factory converters, and if you're installing a inverter charger and you're stepping up to lithium batteries, you'll need to disconnect your factory converter. And the easiest way to do that is find out which breaker it's dedicated to in your factory AC breaker box. And all you're going to do is once you identify that breaker, you're just gonna pull the black wire out and cap it off. And then you're gonna locate the neutral and the ground and you can cap those both off too. Of course, shut everything down and unplug from shore power before you do that so that you're not working with live wires. But once you've capped those off, you're done. Um, the DC side, you don't have to mess with. You can leave all that intact and it's not gonna bother anything. As a matter of fact, when we do installs here, we usually leave that stuff because we don't know how they integrated it into the system and sometimes it's caused us grief by getting into the DC system. So if you can locate it and cap just the AC wires that are feeding that factory converter, remove them and cap them, you're done. Then you can safely install and this will become your new charger for your lithium batteries. I hope that helps. Have fun out there. Your factory converter to install, eh, eh. Breaker is feeding that in or <laughs> today. I'm going to talk about inverted chargers. So, a lot of folks, uh, hey, uh, oh, I left my lunch downstairs. <laughs> yeah, we're <laughs> are you doing something? Yeah, we're recording. Oh, nice. Are you listening to Kid Cuddy? 